Hey everyone, welcome to the tech channel. Today we have another temperature sensor. You can check the link right below. There's a playlist about all the temperature and weather related sensor I've used before. But here we have a different one. It's a contactless temperature sensor, which means it can measure the temperature of an object from a little distance. It's not a big distance though. You'll have to note that it's only a $4 module, not an expensive one. So it should be pretty much close to get the correct reading. The sensor can measure also the ambient temperature, so it gives you two values. We're gonna see that later. So the sensor is called MLX 9614 and it's an infrared sensor as you know every object emits infrared waves depending on its heat these waves are measured by this small sensor and it gives you the value in celsius or in fahrenheit we're gonna see them both so the range of this module is from minus 40 degrees celsius to 125 degrees celsius for ambient temperature and from minus 70 degrees Celsius up to 380 degrees Celsius for object temperature like uh, measuring from a distance and it has like a 0.5 degree Celsius accuracy but it's only from uh, 0 to uh, 50 degrees Celsius and you can use this module for many applications like uh, healthcare or movement detection and I'm gonna use this module with an LCD I square C screen as usual and an OLED screen choose whatever suits you and your project first let's wire our module with the Arduino it's pretty much simple like ground 5 volt then for the connection it's using the I2C protocol so just using SDA, SCL with A4 and A5 as usual so that's the wiring easy and simple now let's test the test code from the library so this is the example from the library as you can see it's very simple we just added the library and we declare the module its name is the MLX then begin for the module we'll upload this code to the Arduino and let's check the serial monitor so those are the readings So I had a wrong like uh, connection here, so I just had to move the SCL or SDA, sorry, the A4, it was in A3, so those are the correct reading, otherwise will be in hell. And 24 for the object, the object means like uh, the contactless reading, now I'm gonna put my hand like uh, over the sensor, and as you can see it's 30 degrees Celsius. Now I'm gonna get closer. As you can see, there are like four or five degrees Celsius of difference. So when using this uh, like sensor for a healthcare or medical application, it should be like uh, you should have a fixed distance, like to measure the correct reading of the temperature of a person. And as you can see, now I'm pretty much close, 34 degrees Celsius. Now I'll move my hand, as you can see, it's 6 degree difference. So that's it for the serial motor and how to test this module. Now we're gonna introduce our LCD I2C screen. So this is the code for the LCD and I'm using here only Celsius. As you can see, it's very simple, we used that before. If you don't know how to use the LCD screen, the video in the link right below, there is a simple tutorial. We just declare our LCD, our uh, uh, sensor then we begin like we launch our sensor and the uh, LCD screen then we print the ambient reading and in Celsius and also I call the object a target and also in Celsius it's pretty much simple and we can test it now I'm gonna put my 
finger here over the sensor 32, 30, 31 changes a lot that's a problem so as I said for a application just fix a distance from where you are measuring and you can change it for the Fahrenheit if you want just in place like of read ambient temper temp C you can use F just like the example example just change this uh, C to F that's it and also the LCD is using the I square C protocol so it's same wiring for all you're gonna find the wiring and the codes in the link right below now let's test our OLED and this is our other code for using the OLED screen and we used this before there's a tutorial about how to use it too we just play with the like text size and the cursor where we want to put it and write as you can see there's ambient and target also and this time it's in Fahrenheit I'm gonna place my hand and see the values you can use any OLED screen I'm using like just this little one 128 by like 32 and the code is very simple also the wiring is very simple I'm just using the it's the I square C protocol too for it so that's it for this module i hope you like it if you have any problem or question you can put it in a comment or contact me the facebook page or whatever you want leave a like and subscribe if you want and see you next time <music>